Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mathlog, and this lesson is Compare Fractions with the Same Denominator. This is Lesson 9-2 in our textbook, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. Okay, there's our common core strand, and our essential question is, what are some ways to compare fractions that have the same denominator? So we're going to go over a few ways here. So here's one. Uh, let's see. So this is called um, uh, Alonzo's Pizza uh, Depot in Citrus Heights, and we, my wife and I, go there all the time, and it's just a wonderful pizza place. Uh, but they make a special pizza, and of the toppings is on one of the pizzas is a quarter, uh, one fourth it's, is peppers, and the other three fourths is ham. Does the pizza have more peppers or more ham? Okay, so uh, we're going to circle the two fractions that we need to compare. Well, it's the one-fourth and the three-fourth. And so how are these two fractions alike? Okay, what's, what's in common with these two fractions right here? Well, look, they both have the same denominator. So that's how many pieces were taken of the whole. So these are in terms of fourths. So they both have the same denominator right here. So, so if they have the same denominator... Uh, we can compare those two fractions uh, when they refer to the same whole. In this, in this way, they're in fourths. One of them's one fourth, and one of them's three fourths. So, if they have the same whole or the same denominator, the same uh, bottom number right here, uh, that's what we're going to compare these fractions. All right. So, here's our pizzas right here, and we're going to shade one fourth for the peppers. So, we've got these two pizzas divided up into fourths right here. So, we'll shade this one one fourth, and we'll shade this one three of the four right there. Okay. All right, so there they are, and then now we can compare the one fourth and the three fourth, and the greater fraction that has the larger amount of the whole pizza shaded uh, is going to be the greater fraction, the greater number. So obviously, this one has more of the pizza shaded than this one right here. This one has three of the four. This one only has one of the four. So three fourths is going to be greater than. So it's going to go this way. It's going to be greater than the one fourth right there. Okay. So the pizza has more, looks like more ham than it has peppers right there. All right, so uh, let's compare fractions uh, well, by using groups right here. So here's one way. Um, uh, Lucy and Ethel each have sticker, six stickers. Okay, so there's Lucy's stickers and Ethel's stickers over here. And then what we're going to do is uh, they tell us that Lucy has five blue stickers. So we'll shade five of those blue stickers for Lucy right there. Okay, and then uh, and then it says uh, Ethel has three blue stickers, so we'll shade three of those for Ethel right here. Okay, and then so then it says uh, write fractions to show the number of blue stickers in each group. Well, that's easy enough. Okay, here there's five of the six shaded, so we're going to represent this as five six or five over six. Here this is three out of the six shaded, so they have the same denominator of six. Okay, then compare the fractions. Okay, so since the same denominators, uh, the same number of stickers in each group, we can count the number of blue stickers to compare the fractions. Okay, so since 5 is greater than 3 in this case, the top numbers we're focusing on, since 5 is greater than 3, then 5 over 6 will be greater than 3 over 6. If they have the same denominator, you can just compare the numerators there. Okay, so who has uh, the greater fractions of blue stickers? Well, Lucy has the more fractions of blue stickers, so she, she has, uh, I don't know what colors, uh, other colors they have. Okay, so uh, we're going to use fraction strips on a number line, okay? So you might uh, come across something like this. So Scott goes to the hardware store to buy some pipe. Uh, one piece is two-eighths yard long, and the other piece is seven-eighths yard long. If Scott wants the longer piece, which one should he buy? And I bet most of you guys already know the answer. But um, uh, on a number line, a fraction farther to the right is greater than a fraction uh, uh, to its left. So remember, as you go to on a number line, if this is zero over here, as soon as you start going in this direction, the numbers start getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And as soon as you start going this way, the numbers start getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So a number line on the number line, a fraction that's farther to its left is going to be less than a number that's to its right right there. Okay, so anything to the left is less anything to the right is greater so here we go we're going to compare two eights and seven eights on a number line okay so we're going to shade the fraction strips above to show uh, the locations of two eights and seven eights okay so there's two eights and there's seven of the eight right there okay and we divided up this fraction from zero to one remember eight over eight equals one and zero over eight equals zero 
So here is uh, one whole unit, and we divided it up into eight equal pieces using fraction strips right here. And we shaded two eights here, and we shaded seven of the eight here. Okay, so now we're going to draw and label points on the number line to represent the distances of two eights and seven eights. So we'll put a point right here at two eights, and we'll put a point right here at seven eights right there. Okay, and then so we're going to compare the lengths. The, the length. So 2 eighths is to the left of 7 eighths, okay? And it is closer to 0 eighths. And remember, 0 eighths is just 0, okay? Oops, so let me move that up right there. I forgot I did that. And then 7 eighths is to the, let's see, here's 7 eighths. It's to the right of 2 eighths right here. So we're going to put to the right. And it's closer to 8 eighths right here. Here's 8 eighths, and 8 eighths is 1. So we'll just fill all that in right there. Okay, so um, um, normally I wouldn't do all this, but I, I found this, and you might come across this. That's why I'm doing this. So, so I, I, I came across something like this. So I, I, I'm guessing you're going to put two eights here is less than seven eights, and at the same time, seven eights is going to be greater than two eights right there. Okay, all right. So uh, Scott should buy the piece of pipe that has the seven eights yard long because he wants the longer piece of pipe right there. Okay. All right, so um, using reasoning here. So here's uh, uh, our last one here. So Tom and Monica are doing their homework. Tom has three-thirds of his homework completed, and Monica has one-third of her homework completed. Who has more of their homework completed? Well, I'm, I'm sure most of you guys know this answer by now. But let's go, uh, go ahead and continue. So uh, when the denominators are the same, the whole is divided into the same pieces. So here the whole is divided into third pieces. So you can look at the at the numerators to compare the pieces. So which one's bigger, 3 or 1? Well, hopefully you guys know that 3 is bigger. So both fractions involve third size pieces. And 3 pieces are larger than 1 piece. So 3 is larger than 1. So that means, OK, this we're going to put these fractions in their appropriate place. So this one's going this way. So we'll put 3 thirds here and 1 third there. So 3 thirds is greater than 1 third. Don't forget, we got to answer the question. Who has completed more homework? I think it was Tom that had uh, the three-thirds. Yeah, it was Tom on that. All right, you guys, take care.